What's going on YouTube? Happy 2K21. This is Dottie with Ignite Cinemas. And today I'm going to be showing you the three must have accessories for your new Sony ZV-1. Let's get right into it. Let's get it. So if you are like me, you know that I have been absolutely loving my Sony ZV-1 that I purchased in about late October. I actually made a full review video of testing and my final thoughts and first impressions. You could click the card above so you can watch that video. And on my journey, about three months in, I've realized some of the best accessories that I have purchased for this Sony ZV-1. And I wanted to pretty much pinpoint that in this video. So everything that I suggest in this video, there will be a link in the description. Yes, it is through Amazon affiliate program, but they are very game changeristic. Is that a word? Game changeristic. Very game changeristic, and it will make you love your Sony ZV-1 even more. The first one being, as you can see already, is a Joby Gorillapod. This is great for vloggers, especially me, and even capturing behind the scenes content. I love this. Now, I, I this is the same Joby Gorillapod that I use for my GH5, and I just love the way it feels. It's it's not too bulky and it's strong and that's what I wanted with that. Now I've seen other videos that they have a more low key and portable quote unquote. I mean, this is portable too, but it's like super, super portable because of legs condensing and all that fun stuff. But um, I was reading the review reviews and it didn't seem too ideal for me. I can still get great arm length with this. I can put this everywhere. I can use the, the legs to attach anywhere. Most of the videos I actually do, I put it on my desk and this serves as a tripod for it. So this has been more than enough for me. I strongly suggest if you're a vlogger or if you need a tripod for your Sony ZV-1, this is the way to go. My second go-to accessory, as you can see, on this camera right now is a camera bracket by UU Rig. And I purchased this camera bracket because as you can see, the tripod thread and the battery pack, they're very close together. So what was happening without this rig, I would have it on a tripod and sometimes after like about 30 minutes, my battery would die. Instead of just being able to slide this out, I would literally have to get the camera. I would have to take the piece from the bottom, unhook that, then get to the battery, then put it back, and then put this piece back on, balance it back right up on the tripod or the Joby Gorilla Pod, and it was becoming a pain in the you know what. So I saw that they made a bracket, it was about $20 off of Amazon and with that you don't have that problem anymore like I can easily hook up and you see there are like nine threads right here you can hook up anything to it in my case I'm hooking up the Joby Gorilla Pod you can hook it back in let's say you're out vlogging you know you're catching the vibe you're telling your story using the power of video oh whoops hold on battery's dead easy peasy. This bracket gives you enough space so you can change a battery, you can change a memory card, and you don't have to take this piece out. I'm all about efficiency and time saving. So these little hacks, they add up over a long period of time. And that's why I'm telling you guys so you can get woke and get hip and get the best accessories out the gate. The final accessory, and which was absolutely essential, was extra batteries three of them, and a certified battery charger. Now out the gate, you do get a USB cord that goes into the camera, that hooks up that charger device, but I'm spoiled. I want to be able to hook something that goes directly into the wall and then put the battery separate. I have kids, now I have a French bulldog. I don't have time for lingering hands or puffy vibes trying to chew away at my camera equipment, especially a camera. So. I'd rather be able to replace this as opposed to a whole new camera. Anyone who knows this camera, the battery life is fairly short. I think I could get maybe 30 minutes continuous, maybe pushing an hour off and on, but I go through a whole lot of these and it's always good to have a backup. On Amazon, I paid about $21, 20 bucks for this new MOA 
three pack battery set that comes with three extra batteries for Sony and a charger and a cord that goes into a USB socket that goes into the wall and this is all I need. I know they're not name brand batteries, they're not Sony batteries, but after my test, the Sony and these, they have very comparable. They both die within 30 minutes of continuous, maybe an hour, I get the same results. So being able to have four batteries, three batteries with the one included, it suits all my needs. And I create video content for not only myself, like I'm doing for you guys right now in my marketing and my business, but I also create content for clients and I'm using this most of the time. And it has been so great to have behind the scenes. I love the Sony ZV-1 and this really captured my heart. Bonus time, this is a bonus one accessory that I strongly recommend. You are gonna need a memory card and I'm real plain Jane. I, I think when I first had the camera, I didn't have an extra memory card and I was using like a 32 gigabyte, which was only giving me like 20 minutes or so, something ridiculous. But I use the Sandus Extreme. This is a bonus accessory. You can get these for like 16 bucks, 20 bucks on Amazon. I use a 64 gigabyte because I clear this memory card fairly easy. That gives me more than an hour of footage. And I'm not recording 4K on my ZV-1. I'm using 1080 because I do a lot of vlogging and I don't like that punch in factor with the 4K. And 1080 does exactly fine for what I needed to do in telling my story and capturing the essence around me. So that's a bonus accessory that I would strongly recommend. If you guys liked all these accessories that I mentioned and you want to purchase for yourself, I vouch for them. They are ignited tested. Check the description below. I have that with the Amazon affiliate link so you can do so. Hope you guys are enjoying your Sony ZV-1. If you guys enjoyed this video, please smash that like button, give me a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more video content like this in the future, as well as Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials and filming tips and tricks, subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video. And as always, don't forget to ignite. See ya.